robots. But there are often seen as great advancements in human ingenuity. They can be villains like the like the Terminator or heroes like our two contestants they'd match. Mega Man, the Blue Bomber, and Iron Man, the Armored Avenger. For the sake of this, this will only be the mark. For the sake of this battle, we'll only be including Iron Man's armor from the MCU. Namely, the, the Heartbreaker. So, no feats from Infinity War, Endgame, or Civil War. But never mind. For these two robotic warriors to fight. Well, one robot, one robot suit controlled by man. In the year 2000 XX. X. He said, I'm the only spread around the world. And then one, Dr. Albert Wiley. Had this had a vision to destroy the world. And there, Dr. Thomas Light had created the Blue Bomber himself, Mega Man. The Blue Bomber himself, Mega Man, is a, is a is an effective robot created by Dr. Thomas Light. And initially as a, as a robotic son. However, when his former partner, Dr. Albert Wiley, had tried to use other pieces of light, Dr. Light's tech to destroy the world, Brock stood up and became the blue bobber we know him as now, Mega Man. Super Bunny Robots! Mega Man! As Mega Man, the Rock gained many abilities, like his ever so iconic Mega Buster. He fires beams of pure sunlight. Wait, what? Actual friggin' sunlight? Don't put this guy in on Superman's team. I think you just could constantly keep on storing Superman's power. Anyway, Mega Man, with these shots are strong enough to be able to destroy anything, destroy a majority of the robot masters. There's a, a group of evil robots Mega Man fights in the Mega Man series. For the sake of this, we'll be focusing primarily on the robots he's facing Mega Man in the classic series. As well as some of the robots he faced in the more obscure Mega Man games. And in terms of Mega Man's arsenal, he really has the sky's limit. He has what explosives like the, like the Super Bomb, Commando Bomb, Flash Grenades. My personal favorite, the friggin' drill bomb. If you need protective weaponry, you look no further than the acid barrier. What happens like the acid barrier, plant barrier, skull barrier, leaf shield, and the jewel satellite. These shields are very impressive. You know, they can. They completely protect Mega Man. He least has some form of protective uh, abilities on Mega Man. That Mega Man has a lot of, of elemental abilities. If he wants to control the, the, the best element ever, fire, he, he has the Firestorm. Or Wave Burner. Her Flame Sword. Atomic Fire. It might be the coolest. This one, at least from what it is in Smash, the Flame Blast. If you want to control ice, he has the Ice Wall, Ice Wave. The ever so iconic Ice Slasher. And the Freeze Cracker. In terms of electricity, my man has weapons like the Thunder Beam. Even the it's like the Thunder Beam, Spark Shock, and and Dynamo, and the Lightning Bolt. And if Mega Man needs more brute force, if Mega Man wants some real, the impressive, off-learning options, 
They can use things like the bubble lead. And hard knuckle, top spin, shadow blade, the metal blades, the flash gloves, uh, flame wheels, and most most lame, the bouncing balls. In Mega Man 11, Mega Man gained a new weapon, the double gear system. Which allows Mega Man to increase his speed, increase his power, or heaven forbid, he. Or heaven's most, uh, his most impressive thing when he can increase both speed and strength. With the power gear system, all his weaponry, in Mega Man 11 at least, got increased power. However, Mega Man is not. Ugh. Oh, blasters and stuff. Mega Man also has some robotic helpers. Where did they be? The absolutely freaking useless is Eddie. Uh, or the ever so iconic Rush Beat and or Tango. Mega Man surely has a lot of things going for him. Mm. Has the feats to boot. Here's people like the Star Droids. Mega Man 5 on Game Boy. There he gained a temporary power up, the Mega R. He is comparable to Duo. Flew from the edge of the galaxy, the edge of the universe to Earth within a matter of days. Which, even though that's all, should still make him massively faster than light. And, more impressively, the time he dodged the attack of the Wily Cannon. At point blank range. Thing that hit the earth on the edge of the Milky Way galaxy in a matter of, of minutes. And in terms of strength, Mega Man once held up an entire freaking castle on the inside right for a matter of seconds. And most and if he can for his best durability feat, that would by far go to his constant tanking of, of attack similar to and I run him. That speed you can really give Mega Man in terms of durability is his is Time he battled the old duo. He battled is, again. He battled with a star droid who could have directly destroyed the galaxy if he really wanted to. Oh. However, Mega Man's not perfect. Mega Man is naive and can drain his battery if he tries to if he tries to dual wield Mega Busters. But despite that, the Blue Bomber is certainly one. Impressive robot. <laughs> Anthony Stark, otherwise known as Tony Stark, is the other one is known as Iron Man. Is the the billionaire philanthropist who owns Stark Tech. Well, Owens now that is. Father, the original CEO, Howard Stark, had died by one night in a car crash. Tony Stark had this hat. However, he was loaded by his own by his own his own Stark Tech missiles. He was later captured and forced to work in a cave where he made the first Iron Man armor. However, the thing is, we're primarily using the Heartbreaker. I think it's an improved version of the version of the armor from our here in Man 2. He, oh, he wore this bad boy until Iron Man 3 when he blew it up. And the Heartbreaker armor. He is capable of taking down people like Whiplash and, and Arbor Killian. Theoretically, it should be comparable to many of the other. Aiden with Lash was strong enough to cut through cars. And Arcade Killian should be comparable to Mandarin, who 
in the pavilion, we don't really know anything about it. In, in, the, in terms of his best thing he'd ever, maybe the time he literally fought for. However, this is an MZU. You. You pre. pre for the Dark World, the one. So, really, this is just. Thor who had best had defeated the, the had defeated the destroyer. And should be colorful to and later fought the Hulk. Same Hulk who went to, who once leveled a city during his battle with Abomination. So I can say that Iron Man should be about city level. We don't know the sheer power of the destroyer. Right, for Iron Man. The Russian race has the, the what you always assume would be the prerequisite. Repulsor blasts, as some unibeams, missiles, and if we're pulling for the Marvel vs. Capcom games, means the proton cannons, smart bombs, and really just a lot of weaponry. However, Tony is a genius. He wants. He once built a piece of metallic armor when he was trapped in a cave and later once outsmarted. It's a literal god of trickery. Iron Man at this point in time. Iron Man's physical durability is really. Even though he once tanked an attack in Thor. The same Thor who had previously destroyed uh, the, had previously defeated the destroyer. Which we don't know, really know if we'll full thing. No, I assume it should be at least more powerful than some of the uh, Guardians. So now we're talking about like Mountain Mole. What? Okay. I mean, still, even more fighter than before. However, he's speed wise. He's the best because he can create a sonic boom from flying. How much means he should break the speed barrier, the sound barrier. However, do we have to see Talking, I was just saying, doing anything for my mother. I know I'm not. Wait, Tony, this. I know he's perfect. He's not. He tends to. I didn't overcalculate his ability. This is his early MCU Iron Man. This is really not a lot to go off of. Um. Just because of the fact that there's not a lot of really impressive feats. However, just because Tony is not 
I didn't press it. But so early on doesn't mean any less of a hero. I have an army. We have a Hulk. All right, the robots are ready. How to see which, which masterful mech, oh, mecha will leave the other robot scrap metal all the time. All right, fine, I'm the robots. Location, New York City, after the events of Avengers. Mega Man has shown teleporting and looking for and it's Iron Man. Tony Stark has shown standing there all showboating. Hmm. Yeah, this is me, the Tony Stark, the one that fought the god of mischief. The, the Norse god of trickery. Huh. You're not fooling me, creation of Dr. Wily. Who is this Dr. Wily you speak of? And how will I know you're not just a, a creation from... From AIM. AIM? Doesn't matter. Either way, I'm taking you down. Hmm. Miss Potts? Okay. Are you afraid from my boy over here because this annoying robot kid is annoying me? Okay. Be sure to be home soon. I will, Pepper. Don't ask. Really, the words to bite your penis. Iron Man rushes up to Mega Man, punching him in the chest. Mega Man then fires three Mega Buster shots straight at Iron Man's chest. <coughs> Starting to get on my nerves. Mega Man takes out the acid barrier as he, as the missile corrodes. As the missile gets eaten by the, the acid barrier, his Iron Man proceeds to fire several repulsor blasts at it. At Mega Man, he fires by sliding under them and landing Mega Upper. Ugh. Let's try this on for size. Alright, he's smart ball. Mega Man. There's is the ice slasher and freezes the smart bomb. So Mega Man then picks up the smart bombs and throws them at Iron Man, causing them to explode upon contact. Ugh. This is, this is Heavy damage to the suit. I know Jarvis. How are you supposed to beat this guy? Judging by his design, he appears to be a normal robot. How do I beat him? Mm hmm. Note to self replace Jarvis in the suit. Wait, what? I mean, Mega Man. Then morphs it, then, then morphs his hand back to normal. <laughs> because he's really come to his senses. Uh, Master Sock? I wouldn't be too sure. Huh, that's not bad. <sighs> okay, reassessment of that plan. Iron Man flies straight towards the Mega Man. Mega Man slices through Iron Man's armor. This is the report of Iron Man's armor. Heavy damage to the right missile launcher. <sighs> That's it. I've had it with this guy. Equip Proton Cannon! This Mega Man just completely slides under him as he then shoots a drill bomb straight into Tony Stark's chest. You wanna be? As this blows up Tony Stark's heart. Ugh. Jarvis, tell Pepper I love her. <clears throat> Hello, Master Rock. 
Wait, Jarvis. How do you know my name already? I can hear. I can hear that guy. Uh, you're working for Prime. Prior. Prior behind his helmet. Oh, Master Stock. Huh. Who needs him? Directly against Asimov's laws of robotics. Anyway, while well, both Mega Man and Iron Man were very impressive fighters, this is specifically very early MCU Iron Man. And the best we can put him as the Bailey Mountain, of scaling, of a very rough scaling up to the Thor, who defeated the, the Destroyer. Who defeated the Destroyer? Which still is not impressive compared to Mega Man's and defeats of defeating the Star Droids. And during the speed, Mega Man completely blitzes. See how he's comfortable he and managed to dodge on attacks from Duo who can move from the edge of the universe, who flew from the edge of the galaxy to, to Earth within a matter of seconds. Put Mega Man massively faster than light. But what about Arsenal? For those you're asking, what's more impressive, a, a small, small grenade or a massive freaking nuke? Many of Iron Man's weapons are completely useless against Mega Man because he has ways to counter them. I mean, he doesn't. He has natural ways around them. He has ways around them. The only thing that would really be harmful is the proton cannon. Even then, Iron Man, Mega Man can just slide under, and Iron Man's completely immobile when he, use, he uses it. Therefore, Iron Man, by default, is nowhere, cannot even reach the same level as Rock. By the end, looks like. Looks like. Like Iron Man was screwed three thousand times over. We may love you, Tony. We may love you three thousand, Tony. But that's not enough to stop. But then looks like Tony's world just got rocked, man. The winner is Mega Man. Next time on the series. Da -da -da -da. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, and turn the signal the car to the left. For rapper the rapper versus beat. And it's the battle of the rebellious teen versus the responsible teen. Mm.